Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your son screen so they screen to it. It's gonna be a run because the tutorial ain't cutting nothing out. So if you feel like the video going too slow, bro, just skip it. Let your screen to it, bro. I bet. So the first thing you wanna do is come up in here, Photoshop, go to File, then New. And you just wanna do 1280 by 720. Once you do this right here, first thing I do when I get up in here is get my screenshot up in here. So um, yeah close out these right here we're gonna be using these later on in the video but we don't need them right now so this screenshot I use right here hit control c come over here control v and basically i'm gonna take these masks off right here just right click disable the mask right click disable vector i'm basically just gonna um, take both of them off real quick and right click i'm gonna clear the um, little mask on this right here too so delete these and i'm gonna show you how to actually cut out the um, dude so to cut them out what you want to do is go to the pen tool Clip P on your keyboard, and I'm gonna zoom in with control and plus symbol. And basically, you just want to go around here and cut them out with this right here. Now, like I said, if you feel like this is going too slow, you can just um speed up the video, do whatever you want to, bro. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try not to make it boring for y'all, bro. I'm gonna try to talk so y'all don't fall asleep on me in this video, bro. But it's gonna be wrong and cut, like I said. So I'm gonna just try to teach you how to do it. Feel me? Put all the stuff I made in the comment section. If you wonder how I got these got these curves going around, I cut out. I do have a tutorial on how to cut out and everything like that. So yeah, feel free to go look at that if you need to learn how to cut out. If I need to make an updated one, let me know. I will do it. But yeah, you just want to cut this out, and this basically gonna be the first thing you do when you do the thumbnail or whatever. Now we just go around the ear, but yeah, basically I'm gonna show you how to make this thumbnail. Try to be in much detail as I can, cause I know a lot of people like. It's a lot of Ariel YouTubers or whatever that be making thumbnails and feel me. Hey man, they need some help or whatever. So I'm trying to help y'all out so y'all can get some more clicks on y'all videos. But yeah, I'm gonna leave the PSD description, all that good stuff right there. But yeah, I'm gonna just cut this dude out. And yeah, if you learn anything from this video, bro, I like it. It's appreciated. That subscription on my channel, appreciate that something. But. Yeah, we just gonna cut this out and yeah man go around here and like i said bro you you ain't gotta do this as quick as i'm doing it feel me because i just I, like this is my third time recording this video so i'm trying to get this out of the way because my wi-fi be tripping around some real junk so i can't just record this junk and upload it just like that i wish i could but i really can't man and then feel me, i gotta do some overlays but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put y'all on how to make this area thumbnail yeah, it's not that hard once you get the hang up, bro. It'll be all designers, too. So, feel me? Yeah. About to help everybody out. All right, so, once you get to, to the end of cutting it out or whatever, you just want to click on that. Once you click on this right here, you want to right-click, make your selection, fill the radius. It don't matter. You can have it on zero or one. When you put on one, in my opinion, it's going to look way better, especially for our real thumbnails. So, once you got this dude cut out, we just going to name him um Avery, because ain't that dude name right here. We're gonna right click, go to blend options. After we go to blend options, we're gonna go to outer glow. And it looks like my settings messed up. But I'm, I'm gonna basically show you my settings. So we ain't even got to trip about that right there. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna just go over here and show you my settings real quick for the dude. And I will show you how to do it, but I'm gonna explain it when I get them on here. So if you already got settings to, and you wanna get them on there, just right click and copy it. Cause I'm assuming some of y'all gonna get the PSD and wanna know how to use it. So we're gonna go in here, right click, paste layers. I bet. So let's just assume we in here because I don't even know why that's gonna trip like that. <laughs> but um let's make sure we 1280 or whatever. Alright, so we up in here. We got a dude or whatever, bro. We ain't even stun that last dude. We we just paste layer style, you feel me? I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how that work real quick. But you know how to cut it out. You watching video, yeah, you know how to cut it out. So I ain't even tripping over that right up. We got the outer glow on here, we got the inner shadow, we got two inner shadows. Now if you wondering how why I did that or how I did it. What you want to do is just do that to create another one. If you got too many, just use that to delete it. Make sure the white one is above the um, other color one or whatever color you're using. And just leave it just like that. So we chilling right now. All right. So let me make sure something real quick. Because this might be the reason. It, it can trip because of that right there. It's going to have it on the same right size. Oh, no. Nah, that mud is tripping. But all right. We straight with that. All right. So we just close this out. Next thing I'm going to do is show you how to do the background, whatever. And that right there gonna be pretty easy. Anyway, we just make all this stuff viewable. And like I said, we making the thumbnail just like this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go get the background. Um, 
come up and come in the first one and get it right here. So come in here, hit control C, come over here, hit control V. Basically, I already got a background. Now, if you're wondering why it's messed up, I had to do some clearing out. But if I do have to do more, I will do so because I might have to do more. But it's really not that hard to fix that. So kind of put it right there. Hit J on your keyboard if you do need to fix it up. And you just want to go across like so. And you can kind of just um, heal it up basically because it's the healing brush tool. So you just want to do like this. And yeah. And when you think you got it like healed up enough, feel me, you can just do this now. If it really get bad and you really can't heal it up, just hit e M um, on like the wall and hit control J. What I would do is just bring it over here, then uh, merge it down, hit J again, and then kind of like have the wall going in, fading in or whatever. So it won't be that hard to kind of make it look good. Yeah, so you'll have something like this. All right, so once you do this right here, what I'm gonna do is cut out the couch and we gonna make sure both of these are separate. We gonna make sure the couch and the wall is separate cause like the color gonna have to be different cause for some reason, but the black don't wanna operate with the pink, right? So we, we gonna just make sure everything goes smooth or whatever. So we gonna cut this out like so, right click, make selection, put that mode on one just like that. And we gonna hold control J. Now what we gonna do is right click, select pixels and we gonna boom, select inverse. Hit control J on this right here. So now we got everything separated just that easy. So yeah. Now we're gonna do is um we're gonna get a color. Now I already picked out my color. The way you can find out what color you want to use um easy is make a background back here and just make sure the background is black. I'm gonna show you real quick. This is how you find your color. Make sure the background is black. And what you can do with it is hit B on your keyboard and then go to Alt and you can just pick a color. Now what I would tend to do is like to pick the color of the hair because this way you're gonna get like your best looking color at. And you feel me? You just wanna pick that or whatever. Now we're gonna do is create a clipping mask on this right here. Let's just assuming you got your color. Just assuming you got your color. Create create a clipping mask and we're gonna put it on color. Now I think I had mine at a hundred. A hundred look best to me. I don't really want to use human saturation on this. I know a lot of people use that type of stuff, but I'm gonna just use that because I feel like that look better for this. So I'm gonna name this wall. And obviously, if you want to name the Lyra, this is obvious. We're going to name this couch, bro. You feel me? This is the couch right here. We're going to put the couch above the wall. You feel me? It's just like real life. The couch going to be above the wall on some real junk. That might have been corny, but hey, it's the truth. Now, what we're going to do right here, create a clip mask for the little couch or whatever. And for the couch, we're not going to have, like, the same blend options. You feel me? We're going to have the couch on. Because see how that mug already acting up when you put on saturation? I'm going to just put the mug on color. Blood opacity a little bit. And I think I, I'm gonna go back and look on with this thumbnail what I did with it. Yeah, I did the same thing, put on color, lower opacity, because that more act like you don't want to be operating right. So now that we got this, next thing I'm gonna do is add the sunburst or whatever. And I'm glad I recreated this, bro, because it's going way smooth, you feel me? Y'all don't even know how the last story was, bro. But we ain't worried about that. So what we're gonna do, hit control V once we got that. And basically, I just brought in hit control C. It ain't nothing crazy. Then came over here, control V. Put this in here. Now, you want to make sure your sunburst big enough because when we start adding, adding all this white stuff, feel me? Behind me, it get kind of messy, bro. So, we just going to multiply this right here. And we're going to kind of put this right here. We're gonna multiply. Put them like this right here, bro. And boom. Just like that, we got our little sunburst or whatever. Now you can see the sunburst in the back. This is what I mean. It's going to get missing. It's going to be kind of hard to see it. So you really got to make your sunburst stand out. Be able to the other sunburst. Feel me? So now that you got this right here, we just going to have that right there. And we're going to start adding the emojis. Stuff. But before we do that, we got to add some little brightness to this dude. Because he, he ain't looking bright enough. So we're going to go down there get our brightness. Clip mask to him. Boom. Now he's looking kind of bright or whatever. All right. So now what you can do after this is um, since we ain't really using this color like that. Go behind them like this, boom. You just want to add a little light. Remember, this is what they be adding them in our real thumbnails. All that light behind them, bro. You better blind somebody, but you just do this right here, then hit control J, put it behind them again. You just want to put that mug on overlay. Once you put it on overlay, you mess with the linear dodge on top. I, I, I even do this for my banners, feel me? I don't just do this for no our real thumbnails, feel me? I do this for my banners too. So, look. Once you do this right here, I'm going to show you what to do. So, you want to go to Google's and, and we. I'm tripping. I said Google. We're going to go look up these emojis right here. So I don't really know the emojis like that. I think one of them called a uh, heart revolving emoji or whatever. 
feel me? Y'all probably know the emoji. I don't be studying that jump, but we gonna right click, copy this image, go in here, um, <clears throat> right click, right click. I mean, Control V and get it. You feel me? But yeah. Then we're gonna hit control X. And you see my little keyboard. So if I mess something out or say something that ain't wrong, you got that up and there to backtrack me or whatever. So we kind of gonna make it look like this heart is just going out, bro. Like the heart is just going straight out. You feel me? Make sure it look like this mug is going out. That's how we doing. Now what you wanna do, right click, copy layer style. We're gonna copy this layer style up here and paste it. After we paste it, what we're gonna do is add a little drop shadow. Now, I know it might look good already, so if you don't want to add a drop shadow, I do understand, but we got to add a little distance to it. Just copy the settings, what I'm doing, you feel me? If you want to add a more opacity to it, everything is just preference. So, I'm going to name this Hearts Revolving. Now, if you don't want to name anything, I probably spelled that wrong, bro, but we ain't tripping. If you don't want to name anything, you feel me? I understand that. Now, I'm going to lower the saturation a little bit. I might even add a little, a little colorize and um, try to match the color a little bit more. Like I said, it's up to you. I'm just showing you how to do that if you want to do that. The only thing I'm going to do is just lower the saturation. All right, so now that we got this, I'm going to make a little group called emojis. I ain't really going to get too serious with the groups, though, because I ain't trying to waste that much time. So next thing I'm going to have to do is do them pleading eyes or whatever. Feel me? I think that's what they call. Look that up. But, yeah, once we got this right here, and if I'm going too fast or I'm going too slow, hey, you know to do. You got a little time speed on the video. But um, we're going to find a little pleading. <laughs> Please not as much. Feel me? Want to right click, and copy this image, come in here, and then what you want to do is hit Control V. Once you Control V, hit W on your keyboard to go to the um little Magic One tool. You can right click if you're on the wrong tool. Go to the Magic One tool, and you hit Control X. Once you hit Control X, you just want to tap on that and bring it over here. You can make it a little bit smaller, make it a little bit bigger. Just make sure it's off the side of his head like that. And then you want to hold Control. And have it going back. It's gonna make that little effect where it look like it's going outside of my son. This is this is what they do with the little IRL thumbnail, bro. That this is what they do. You feel me? I'm exposing y'all. Nah, I'm just playing though. But you want to right click, copy layer style, and then right click and paste this right here. You feel me? Once you do this right here, what we're gonna do is add a little motion blur. Now the only thing about the motion blur, I'm hoping that I can add it to the uh, group. Okay, I can't. They cut that off real quick. Now what you can do is convert this to a smart object, but only bad thing about that, you lose y'all your, your good effects. So what I would just do, go to blur, motion blur, and just have it on some light. Now if you wanna save your little emojis, what you can do is make little extras of them, make a new group, and just do like this right here, and kinda save them, but yeah. We're gonna go to filter, blur, motion blur. Boom, and you can put them wherever you want. I really don't know the exact motion blur I had on my other ones, but yeah, we're gonna filter motion blur. And you can kind of see I did the same thing. Only difference was on these, like the effects won't look right because as you can see, all on with smart objects. The only good thing about a smart object though was you can go back and change, like you can edit the smart filter. So I did have it on 10. So now you know I had it on 10. So I did have it a little bit higher back then. But we ain't worried about that right now. Next thing we're gonna do is get a little monkey emoji. Cause this is the next emoji we need. Feel me? We gotta get these emojis up in here. Can't be no thumbnail without no emoji, bro. On some real jump. So what you gotta do? Right click, copy your image, come up in here, Control V. Oh, jump, turn into a clipping mask. I'm tripping. So you wanna just make sure that's great. All right. So you wanna hit W, then Control X, W, then Control. No, you wanna hit W, click, then Control X, cause that's how we get the white spots out. I'm tripping. My bad. So now we're gonna do just right click, paste the layer style, and like I said once again, you just, to get the layer style, you just right click, copy it, and then come over here, right click, paste it. I understand, bro. You might have to slow this video down, but you feel me? I'm trying to get this mug out of the way. All right, you feel me? So, I ain't really too worried about the, the monkey right now because, like, I'm probably end up going to change his size anyway. But just to be, like, kind of straight on everything, what I'm going to do, get this right here. And we're going to hit be on our keyboard. Make sure the brush is black down there. It's probably already going to be black and white when we do that. But we just going to take the little part out on the monkey or whatever. All right. <clears throat> So next thing we're gonna do, go to file, open, and this one I'm gonna bring in my arrow at, right? I'm bringing this arrow. Bring this in, and control C, and look, this we're gonna do. Put the emojis below this, cause I should've did this in the first place. Now we're gonna, we gonna kinda fix this up anyway, cause, feel me, these emojis supposed to be, I don't know, that's just how they doing the IRL thumbnail, bro. I don't know, they just kinda add a little white effect, have everything looking crazy. 
But <clears throat> dang, that jump hard though. I miss with. So we on control C. Come over here, control V. Even uh, the arrow. Basically everything gonna be behind it. Come on here. Now the arrow, it really don't matter how you do it, bro. Cause this is basically your thumbnail. You looking at my tutorial, learn how to make your thumbnail. So it's your thumbnail at the end of the day. But I'm gonna do mine like this. See, um, the monkey. Realistically, like if I wanted to just make it like the other one, the monkey would be like right here. And then we go back to this. Let's see some. Uh, all right. So now we got this. Now I'm gonna actually copy the layer style off of the um, arrow and show you, just explain to you what I did to it. So, cause I don't think, ain't no way I added a motion blur to the arrow, right? No, I didn't, all right. So look, this is what I did to it. Now, first thing I did was, obviously I'm paste layer style. I'm gonna show you everything up in here first. This is everything in here. Now, this is kind of layer style for the other stuff also, so. If I just wanted to make it look like the other one, I could just paste these on everything else. But I ain't, I ain't got time for that right now, bro. Um, that's how, that's the settings for the arrow, though. So I'm gonna just copy these and put it on that, though. So this is gonna look a little bit different. All right. So what I did was add a little color overlay, right? But I ain't put the color overlay all the way on there. And basically, it was just this color down here, so it can blend in kind of good. I put that on there. I mean, it don't look too bad if you put it all the way on there. It still look decent, but. Um, had a mug on normal, but don't have like all the way because um, we gonna have human saturation to this human saturation, clip mask, film, and we're gonna colorize it. So, this gonna really just help it out with that anyway. All right, so now that you got this, I want to kind of make these two colors like the heart and that match. It's kind of hard to do, in my opinion. Like, you get them colors the same, but I'm gonna try to do it real quick. Let me see, probably have the other saturation. Over here a little bit, but like that's not trying to kind of hard to get the same color, but that's pretty close right there. All right, so <clears throat> I'm tripping, bro. My bad, bro. But yeah, just add a little bit more of this. You can up the opacity a little bit if you want to, a light little fog or whatever. Next thing I'm gonna do, go on this dude right here, get a little pink thing, come on them like this, boom, boom, boom. Boom. We're gonna turn all that into soft light. You can turn the linear dodge if you want to, but I mean, it get pretty crazy when you do linear dodge screen. So I'm gonna just put it on soft light. We ain't gonna go too crazy with it, bro. All right. Next thing we're gonna do. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, we can do a little phone or whatever. We can do that. And sunburst, we're gonna have to make it a little bit bigger. Feel me? You gotta make the sunburst pop out, bro. That sunburst gonna pop out you. I don't know what to tell you, bro. There ain't no IRL thumbnail. But, um, yeah, let's get this phone up. So, I'm going to come in here and get it because I think on this one I made it a little mad. So, I'm going to just show you how to cut out the phone on some real quick junk. So, make sure the phone is below everything except for the couch. Feel me? Phone cannot be below the couch, bro. Mug is not going to look right. Get up out of here. All right. the phone tweaking, bro. All right. We're going to leave it right up. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to cut out the phone. Now, I already got it cut out, but for the video sake, because I know some people actually going to like watch this whole video. That's why I ain't really tripping by the time, because I know some people, like, they really going to watch this junk. But, I'm going to just hit P on my keyboard to cut out, like I've been saying. And like I always say, I got to cut out the story if you don't know how to cut out. But that junk will help you, but just follow along with what I'm doing. Just feel me? Because I know some of y'all watching, they never cut out before. So, the junk is easy, bro. Just take your time with it. You ain't in no rush. Well, you might be, but shoot. Take your time with it. Come around here. And I'm going to check what time I'm on on the video after this. Because, like I said, this wrong. Cause I, read, I, I mean, these are my favorite type of tourists do, but shoot, man. Like, I, I just be trying to help people out, bro. So, if you learn anything... Uh, like and subscribe would be appreciated because I am driving this PSD. I ain't waiting for no amount of lights. I'm driving this mud, bro. But, um, yeah. You just want to cut this thing out, man. Get up out of the way. Feel me? Uh, like this. Um.
Just make sure the cutout straight. You feel me? Right, I'm gonna fix that right up. Man, put his fat socials in front of the jump. I'm gonna fix that. All right, so once you're done cutting out, basically, you're gonna right click, make selection. Hit OK. We're gonna do a little mask. I'm just gonna do mask on this because you might want to come back and change something. Like, we gotta do now. So, what you wanna do? Hit B. That should be black. And, um, you just wanna do like this right here. Do it till you get to a good good little part. Because our text gonna be right here anyway. So, you really not gonna be able to see this. But, just have it like this. All right, so now we're gonna put a little arrow back. If you, I mean, if you think the arrow is a little bit too close, you can make it back a little bit, man. It's, it's all up to you, bro. All right, so first thing first, what we're going to do with this brightness, um, clip mask, and we're going to up the brightness on that because that mode is not bright enough. Now that we got that situated, um, <clears throat> I'm going um, I'm to show you how to do the little, the little thing like this right here first. Then I'm going to show you how to do the text after, like, I'm going to have a whole video coming out with all Iria thumbnail list styles for the text, bro. I do not care, bro. I'm helping y'all out. If anybody got anything to say about it, you feel me? <laughs> I'm just playing, bro, but let's just straight into it. I, I, I brought this in, and I just cut this out of my marquee tool. Hit control J. You ain't got to worry about this. When I leave in the comment section, I'm going to just leave this particular, but um, what we're going to do now, hit control V. Just make sure you get in here, control V. And we're gonna right click or flip horizontal or whatever. And we're gonna kinda put this right here. You feel me? Y'all wanna put some clickbait right here if you're gonna make a aerial thumbnail, man. You got to. Oh, we gotta have this. Alright, so you wanna go to your text uh, tool, make something real quick. I already got the fun open. You just find this on thefun.com. We got what section I was in, but I'm gonna leave this fun in the description. I don't recommend this one though, cause I ain't really messing with it too much. So we just go across it like this, drag it across, turn the color to black, <clears throat> and what we're gonna do? Put in here, obviously put in a little box or whatever. And then we're gonna hit Control J on it just to make a new one, which is pretty simple. And we're gonna put the other word on here. It's that simple, bro. Put the other word. Gotta have an exclamation point on that mug. So once you got that right there. Feel me? You got your little um whatever the person saying. Feel me? You feel like it's good enough for the for the thumbnail. Feel me? Move this up a little bit. You don't want it to be too close, but um yeah. Oh shift. You control E on that mode. Go to blender options. Then you want to go to your drop shadow. Now, feel me? I would go over there and copy this drop shadow, but like let me see if I can find it real quick. Only if I find it real quick. Right click, copy, and come over here, paste it. Now, I just go to my blend option. This is the actual drop shadow I use. I, I just switch my junk up all the time. All right. So next thing I'm going to do is the text, bro. Text is not hard, but, like, it's just, like, I don't know why they got to make it so hard to make, bro. That mug ain't hard, though. I just went back to the text tool. Just clicked on the make some text. But I think it said, can you be my, and then it start right there. That's the first part of it, I think. I don't know. But, yeah, just have it like this right here. So can you be mine and we'll just put it right here make sure the text is above the dude but you, you don't want to have below his freaking armpit bro all right so yeah we're gonna have it like this bro that's simple now we're gonna right click go to blend options you feel me color overlay now don't trip it gradient overlay you can go back to sleep but i'm out of the mud tripping all right so we gonna um i think i had the color white at the top then I just turned it to gray. I don't think the first one was pretty easy, I think. Now the second was kind of not all of them are easy. They ain't really complicated. You just want to go to inner shadow, basically. Have it like this. See, they already got it set up for me. They know what it is. In the shadow. Have your size like kind of like that. You mess with your opacity. It's just really up to you. Next thing you want to do is add a drop shadow. Add a drop. <laughs> add a drop shadow to it, but it's not trip. Alright, so. After you add your little drop shadow, I'm just looking at this right here. Observing the thumbnail, you feel me? Um, we're going to save this. We're going to make a group with this. We're going to hit Control J. We're just going to put this in the group just to be safe and something don't go right. Because, feel me? We're going to have it. We're going to lock that. We ain't worried about that now. All right, so what we're going to do, um, right click. We're going to rasterize this. And make sure you got the right size before you rasterize it. Just make sure you got it how you want. Add an arc on it. Have it like this right here. <clears throat> Can you be mine and then have it like that? Now we're gonna lose. 
um, called Cro Control J, like another layer, put it below it, and have it like this. Now, I know I did something different on that first one, but when I drop my um, actual tutorial, just focus on how to make this on, it's probably gonna be way better. So don't even trip over this right here, man. But, all right, so now that we got this right here, what we gonna do, go to Valentine, some real jump, we're just gonna type Valentine, and I'm gonna show you how to do that too. Um, the same, about the same size. This it ain't really gonna matter for real though. All right, so we can go to right click, blend the options for it. You feel me? And let me see, gradient overlay. And I think I had the color pink. And then basically, how you do this, you just have like a regular color, then you have it go, go darker. So, so if I just want to get the thumbnail colors, like. And then make it go dark and tight, John. This I think that's literally how you do it. But when you make it go darker, don't make it go a little bit too dark. Cause this is like yeah, something like that. Then you just add your little inner shadow, right click, rasterize. Now I'm gonna try something out real quick. Don't say my word for John. All right, boom. See, I might have my own um, shadow too high. Might be why it don't look that good. I'm gonna try this out. To try to see how this look. This might look better. Yeah, you just wanna. I ain't even finna rest right there. See, let me just keep it like that. You wanna arc it, right click, arc, and then have it like this, and control J. Then you just have the bottom of the, the bottom one going down, like so. And you kind of got your tick like the real tick. I thought it was so hard to make, just like when I first started making overlays on some junk. Like, that the mode was hard, but the joint easy though. Uh, so you want to hold control on both of them, kind of bring them up. And I don't know which one look better. I'm pretty sure my first one I made looked the best though. But we we can we can chill with this right here. We ain't tripping. I'll make a group call these more ticks. And we kind of almost done with the thumbnail. Only thing I gotta do is add all that glow and stuff to make it look like everything kind of blurred out or whatever. But <clears throat> that junk ain't too hard to do though. I'm gonna kind of lower this a little bit more just to put it like that. All right. I'm on 20, we on 27 minutes. That junk is not bad. 27 minutes, not bad. If you enjoyed the video so far, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. That is going to be appreciated. Next thing I'm going to do is add this little recording border. So you how to do this. This is not hard either. You feel me? I'm going to leave this in the description. Regular and not regular. Um, But yeah. Basically for the border, man. It, it's easy, bro. So you want to go to filter. Then go to a delta y angle. Once you do this, you want to go down to a perspective. You want to scale it all the way down. Well, scale it to where you can at least see it. Don't know. You ain't got to scale it all the way down. You want to mess with your focal length. Because this, like, um, going to determine how, like, wide and how messed up your junk is. If you want your junk to be all the way messed up to the point where, like, you want some crazy junk, you would do that. Like, that's that. I ain't even finna say that. <laughs> but, shoot, you just have it like this. Boom. Something simple. Like, <clears throat> just have it like that. Boom. Alright, bro. John looking kind of raw. I ain't gonna lie, but shoot, we still got some work to put in. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm basically done. Like I said, I just gotta make every all the colors match. Making color match is really not that hard. It's just spamming a whole bunch of colors over everything. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. First thing you gotta do is take the original color, go around, and if you still got the original color or you don't, I'm gonna tell you how to find your original color. What you want to do, go to the hair hole, alt, just pick a color. This is how you find, whoa, make sure you get a light one, bro. All right, that, that's great. Something like that'll be your original color. So now what you want to do is go to color above everything. Then have it like that. It's going to have to set that little tone or whatever. But above this, what we're going to need to make it better is some vibrance, bro. Vibrance and saturation going to bring out that tone. You feel me? We're going to make everything look saturated. Can't have a thumbnail without no saturation, though. It's gonna be desaturated, you feel me? Man, I miss saying some corny junk in this video. <laughs> like, why? Hey, but make this junk a little bit bigger. And now, if you wonder how I'm making brush bigger, I just use these little brackets on my keyboard. Or you can simply go up here and up the side. And I ain't did like this in so long, but that's how you do it also. So, what I'm gonna do now is just click around the screen with these, like so. And if you really want to make it just show out, like you really want to make the jump show out, what you would do as some ganja blur. Ganja blur gonna make these things go crazy, bro. And then what you can do is add some screen after doing that, like add some screen. 
Look, after you did the screen with it, I'm gonna put you on game real quick. What you can do, you can make another one, go to the bottom, do like this. Um, and you can just load the opacity simply on that one. You ain't got to add no screen, that one. Go to the top, boom, you can load the opacity once again. And then you can do like a big fat one over here, big fat one over here. Put that mug on screen, right? And then load the opacity on that mug. Feel me? You see, you see what I'm going with this? See what I'm going with this? Like, I still, bruh, that thumbnail go hard though. I ain't gonna lie, but shoot. Yeah, you just, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna up the brightness on her a little bit. On the brightness. Like this right here. It's simple, bro. Send this to your thumbnail maker for your IRL YouTube on some real junk. We're gonna add a little bit more, bro. Load up past you. you. Gotta make sure that junk covered up. Now, for this, um, this, um, where is it, bro? This thing ain't trying to hide from me. It's trying to hide, bro. What am I get? You gotta be at the top, right? This it. Yeah, for this thing right here. See, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put y'all on game real quick. You wanna control J this, shake it down, and then create a clip mask. This right here, we doing this specifically for this. So this mug can. You, you feel me? We gotta get that one too. You can't get out of this. So now what I would do is just hit Control S. That's how you say your work, man. I don't want your good thumbnail to go to waste. You feel me? But yeah, dude. Um, that's pretty much how you make it. I'm gonna I'm show y'all a little fix that add. How these people be going crazy with these effects? Now, firstly, I'm gonna add something while we already in here. So you just wanna get these colors like hold Alt and click when you actually get the color. These how you gonna get your main colors like just to pop out. So every color on that, we are gonna put screen on that. We gonna have these colors. They gonna get the popping. You feel me? So once they get the popping, we we, go, we Gucci on there right now. So now that we good on everything, we can get to the next step. We can hold. We can go from the top. Go all the way from the top. Go to the bottom. Hold Shift. Click at the bottom. Then create a group. Next thing you wanna do is hit Control J for that group. Then hit Control E. It's gonna merge everything in there. Now you want to hit M on your keyboard. Make sure you want to mark your tool. Just right click up here to get to it. You want to hit Control J. Once you hit Control J, you should have this right here. And we can just lock this. See, this is just going to show the difference. You want to right click. You want to convert to smart object. This way get real serious there, y'all. Get serious, bro. Oh, some real junk. Get serious right here, bro. Um, 32 minutes. Dang. I didn't even expect that much to be that long. All right. So now we're going to do... Come up in here. I got some presets for me. Now my last video that I recorded, I did show how to work the like do the magic, like you feel me, work that thing on here with the effects. But I don't know if I want to do it on this one, man. I'm gonna just get y'all the basic rundown. Um, cause I, dang, I ain't even trying to give out this man jump. <laughs> just make sure y'all add some contrast, all the good stuff right there. Man. Make sure y'all mess with these right here, main thing, and mess with that texture. You will find, you will end up finding what you want to add. But yeah, just I'm picking number 57. If you need to figure out how to find it, um, effect pack, I, I'll give you the link to it, let you go purchase it because I can give out them a free buddy trip. But yeah, you want to add your little magic bullet looks once you add this right here. This way, get real that, bro. I'm telling you, this is what the thumbnail look good at right here. This is all your hard work you put in, you're gonna see it come to life, bro. The hard work you put in, gonna come to life with this right here. You want to add diffusion, bro. Diffusion is gonna be your best thing on here. Yo, gray, you feel me? I see some people put their gray like this. I ain't gonna lie. Like, what is you doing? You gotta lower your gray, bro. So, feel me? Lower that mug a little bit, you feel me? You ain't gotta have it all the way up. Have it like that. I know you want your junk to be puffy and everything, but you ain't gotta have it too high. Just copy them settings right there. Don't miss your exposure on uh, composition. If I if I said that right, I'd be pronouncing these words wrong, bro. But don't mess with that unless you need to. They're just gonna make everything brighter, bro. It, it ain't that hard to explain. Hey slur, that's like the hey slur on the side. I got a whole video explaining this jump, bro. Um, auto show that I really still don't understand what that do. Now this right here, this like your um your glitch effect. See if I put this mug out of wheel. You see how that glitch, man? Some people really be doing it. They thumbnails. Lower that mug, bro. My tip would be like you will know when you go too high. Feel me? You will know. Put that mug at like 120 on this one, man. Everything else, it's just up to you. So we are gonna look, look, let the magic work. Let them all work real quick. Let it, let it work in my Photoshop. Don't crash, bro. I bet. There we go. So you see them all got real puffy. Everything look nice. Feel me? 
now what we're gonna do is we on last step bro last step most important bro we're gonna do hold out boom hold out click on them up boom hold out click on them up boom hold out click on his shirt boom hold out click on his boom all right what we're gonna do hold the screen nah not lighting bro screen feel me yeah, better get right all right bet so what we're gonna do right here we got all that stuff right if you feel like it's too puffy this is why we did the smart filter edit smart filter um blending options if my photoshop don't crash the mother do be crashing when i do this if it crash i swear bro i'm gonna break something but on some real junk um yeah load it up and you can mess with it uh, you see how that mode look different you mess with the opacity on that mode like just like it's regular that's why i like that smart filter so we got that right there we got that screen out next thing we're gonna do last thing come across here like this go to color i don't even think i'm on the right color but you get the idea and boom that's your thumbnail that's how you make it like like i told y'all earlier about the little contrast when i add a little contrast to it feel me to your little thumbnail you can add a little more about brightness or whatever just make it look a little poppy or whatever you feel me it's your thumbnail feel me you work for this feel me do what you want to now we got a little vibrance to it or whatever and that, that basically how you do it man that, hey I, i'm just holding the video up at this point on some real jump man um i made about 3d mugs let me see how many more look because i got it at the top we, we gonna we're we gonna see what one look best feel me i recorded three tutorials my my you feel me yeah okay we got this one we got this one we got this one i ain't gonna lie this one and this one they competing to be the best feel like this one got me though i don't know hey y'all let me know in the comment section what one better comment one two or three hey it's been your boy dragon peace out come out with another tutorial i don't know but hey if you enjoyed this make sure you drop a like subscribe be more dragon let's go